Good evening. Just who are these powerful players? And how did they come together to be indicted for bribes and kickbacks mere weeks before Election Day? Ed Mangano, county executive, worked as a janitor to put himself through Hofstra Law. She, a former graphic designer and publisher of a local paper. They shared these family photos when he first assumed office in 2010. He now has one year left in his second term. With today's arrest for corruption, some voters and politicians on both sides of the aisle are already urging Mangano to step back, resign, and not even consider running next year. Everyone's innocent until proven guilty, okay? However, with his smoke, his fire sometimes. The Mangano's longtime friend, prominent business magnate Harendra Singh, once operated more than a dozen restaurants, allegedly fed Mangano and his wife high priced complimentary meals, drinks, arranging and paying for vacations for the couple, cooking the books on a no show job for Linda. And he allegedly got lucrative business deals, kickbacks, and say frustrated taxpayers who followed the brouhaha for more than a year, cheated the government and town of Oyster Bay out of millions. His wife, Ruby, says Singh is suffering from diabetes. At Oyster Bay Town Hall, employees appeared stunned. Who's in charge? Have to go close. You have to go close. Oh, why? Was he convicted of something? John Venditto, two decades ago, became town supervisor of Oyster Bay. A Republican like Mangano, the feds say Venditto received free chauffeur services, discounted fundraisers, and a private room at a Singh restaurant in exchange for guaranteeing Singh millions in loans, contracts for the town golf course, beaches, and restaurants. Dean Hart is with Long Island Citizens for Good Government. The New York State Constitution says you cannot guarantee with taxpayer money private loans. But that doesn't matter to criminals. Obviously, Singh, Venditto, and the Mangano say they are not criminals. Ed Mangano plans to be back here in his office tomorrow morning, business as usual, until or unless, unless there is a trial. We're live tonight in Mineola. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. All right, Jennifer. Well